So I have been playing Mario Kart Tour and I will be sharing my friend code on my Twitter which is the same as my channel name but it's kind of got me thinking what if there was a Splatoon smartphone game in an ideal world it would be like what Mike Enel did come up with with Splatoon Island that concept is absolutely amazing I would love it if we did get a smartphone game like that but in the real world what it would probably be it's like if Splatoon 2 was a mobile game what it would be the gameplay wouldn't really be as good as it is right now it would definitely be really simplified it might even be top down like the Splat Wars sort of smartphone ripoff of Splatoon and pretty much all of the weapons would be locked behind a loot box system all of the gear would be locked behind a loot box system pure gear perfect gear they would have like a 1% chance of dropping if Splatoon 2 was a mobile game and Super Sea Snails they would sort of drop really rarely they wouldn't appear on a regular basis they would of course be available for real life money but I thought you know what Nintendo would probably do if Splatoon 2 was a mobile game or if they do decide to do a mobile Splatoon game is pretty much maybe allow you to play as all of the characters like all of the idols all of like the main characters in the game like Agent 3, Agent 4, Agent 8 they would be in the loot box system they would have an insanely low drop rate of like 0.3% which is how much characters like Dry Bowser like Peachette they are like the drop rates for those characters in Mario Kart Tour and I could see Nintendo doing something similar maybe if those characters aren't playable in a mobile smartphone game then it would boost your stats somewhat I could see Nintendo doing oh here is Marina in a special swimsuit available only for two days and yeah that would definitely get money for Nintendo maybe you would unlock these loot boxes with Super Sea Snails but yeah just seeing what Nintendo have done with Mario Kart Tour it's kind of got me thinking and worried about what Nintendo could do with a smartphone Splatoon game like what said what Mike Enel did come up with I would happily play it and yeah I am enjoying Mario Kart Tour it's just that it is heavily microtransaction based at the moment it is definitely pay to win and yeah that is my fears if Nintendo did decide to do a Splatoon smartphone game there would be like a Marie sort of character in there maybe it would boost your defense maybe it would boost your attack or maybe you could get to play as Marie for the first time and yeah pretty much she has really good stats she comes with the hero charger which comes with extra damage that's just my main sort of fear she would be insanely rare to get but yeah it would be like pay to win and that's just my main fear with a like Splatoon smartphone game it would be pay to win but I guess that's what smartphone games are all about really they are all about driving as much money as possible for the company that does make it but I am definitely not a fan of that method yes the games are free to play but it definitely does punish you if you don't want to grind and you know I can just see Mario Kart Tour's multiplayer just being paid to win it just be filled with people that do have Dry Bowser people with Pauline, Peachette, Musician Mario and yeah it's just got me fearing with what Nintendo could do with a Splatoon smartphone game now at this time of recording there is no Splatoon smartphone game in the works but I would be really surprised if we didn't get to see a Splatoon smartphone game in the future but yeah can you imagine if Splatoon 2 was a smartphone game flipping heck that is a really really depressing thought it really is and it's kind of got me grateful 
for what Nintendo do on the consoles and yeah if Splatoon 3 was anything like what I did describe where like weapons are tied behind loot boxes I can't imagine Nintendo would ever do that but if they did in my word that would be really really depressing it really would be so yeah let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below in an ideal world we will get Mike Einel or Mike Enel I don't know how to pronounce that name I always pronounce it wrong so I must apologize about that but in an ideal world we would get that and not what I did describe not what we are seeing with Mario Kart Tour where there is a five dollar five pound a month subscription which is just absolutely ridiculous when you think about it you've got microtransactions in there and you've got a five dollar like subscription as well i really hope nintendo don't do something like this for splatoon which is one of my favorite gaming franchises one of my favorite gaming series of all time they've done it with another series I really like, I really like Mario Kart and yeah I really don't want him to do the same with Splatoon. But I guess someone like myself who rarely plays smartphone games, rarely drops any sort of money on microtransactions, I guess I wouldn't necessarily be the target audience anyway for that sort of game. I have got a traditional Splatoon 2 sort of console experience on the Switch that I can play right now. I don't have to play a potential Splatoon smartphone game if Nintendo ever decided to release one. But yeah, if Splatoon 3 is many years away, which I think it is, then a smartphone game, it could be our only new experience until Splatoon 3 does come out. And if that is the case, then yeah, it would be really disappointing just to see a PvP sort of experience tied behind a sort of pay to win sort of mechanic that these smartphone games are typically known for and what Nintendo are currently doing on Mario Kart Tour. I can definitely imagine Nintendo doing that sort of thing but yeah, what Nintendo would do if they ever decided to release a Splatoon smartphone game is to try and get people hooked on the series in the hope that they would pick up a Switch and play Splatoon 2. But yeah, no smartphone game has been officially announced at the moment. But yeah, I would be really surprised if we didn't get a smartphone game. And yeah, the point of this video is that my fears would be it would be pay to win. That's what smartphone games are all about. But yeah, that's pretty much it with this video and yeah, we'll see you in another video soon hopefully.